Hey guys, so Apple has officially released iOS 26.1 as of today. Everyone can download the software update directly to their iPhone, and this one brings a lot of cool changes. If you want to watch my videos coverage on this software update, links will be down below. But today I wanted to focus on a few things you're going to want to do immediately after you update to iOS 26.1. These are going to be things that I personally do myself in order to have things run a little better. So the first thing you wanna do is launch the home application on your iPhone. Head on over into the menu on the top right and then select home settings. Right here, you wanna scroll down until you find the software update section. There's new HomePod update available as well as of today. Make sure that you update your HomePods, make sure you update your Apple TV as well, and make sure that you update your Apple Watch. Go into the Apple Watch application, general software update, and a new Watch OS 26.1 is available to download as of today for your Apple Watch as well. So I like to personally manually update everything just so that I know everything is updated. These updates do happen oftentimes automatically in the background, but I like to do it, you know, myself manually just to make sure that everything runs the best it can, right? So iOS 26.1 is available alongside tvOS 26.1, new HomePod software updates. So Apple Watch, HomePods, TV, update everything today, the first thing you wanna to wanna to do. Now, Apple updated Rapid Security Response. It is now called Background Security Improvements, and you wanna make sure that you enable this on your iPhone as of today. Go under Privacy and Security, scroll all the way to the bottom, and right here it is, Background Security Improvements. Again, this is an update to Rapid Security Response that was first introduced with iOS 17. So now you'll be able to get security updates on your iPhone without having to update your iPhone. So if you, you know, see a new software update being released and you don't want to update your iPhone, you want to stay on the previous software, you'll still be able to get the latest security on your iPhone without having to update the software. So this is pretty cool. This allows your iPhone to download all security patches without having to update. So if Apple releases 26.2 in the near future and you don't want to update, don't worry, you'll still have your latest security patches just as long as you enable this background security improvement option right after you update. And now this software update also brings changes to Liquid Glass, by the way. So for those of you having issues with visibility on Liquid Glass, you can head on over into Display and Brightness right after you update. Go under the Liquid Glass options right here, and you can choose from two new options. You have Clear Liquid Glass, which is the standard, and then you have a Tinted option, which allows you to add a tint to the controls and notifications in order to see them better. So you see the preview window here. If I select clear, you see it goes to clear liquid glass, select tinted, it makes it a lot more visible, right? So you can see it a lot better. So yeah, those things you're gonna to wanna to do or adjust right after you update your iPhone. Now, something that I always like to say is make sure that you update your third-party applications. So Instagram, Facebook, X, etc. You wanna head on over into the App Store. You wanna click on the top right right here and then go ahead and press and swipe down and there could be new app updates available for you as you can see right there you want to make sure that you update all your applications as soon as possible so you can avoid any crashes or issues or even overheating in the past third-party applications are known to drain battery cause overheating and things like that so just make sure you update all your apps as of today as well and last but not least apple is pushing out new carrier bundles now not everyone will see a carrier bundle but if you want to check for carrier updates just head on over into settings go under the generals tab on your iphone and then click on the about section and if you see a pop-up on the center of your screen asking you to update your carrier settings then obviously you want to make sure that you update your carrier settings for better network performance and compatibility and there you guys have it. These are just a few things I recommend everyone to do right after you update your iPhones. iOS 26.1 currently available as of today. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.